Hello everybody, welcome back to Terraria. So, we need to make some more bedrooms. Uh, we got a couple people who can move in here now. The Clothier, who was the old man of the dungeon in disguise, and we also have now the Engineer. Uh, a third room would be nice, because I was using this for mine, but uh, Stazen, the goblin dude, has moved in over there. Um, let's head back up here. Now, I don't have... I think enough wood to make the kind of background that I would like. So, like, I would usually put wood in there, and then at some point we'll go through and we'll change all these to more uh, NPC specific designs. Uh, what does a plank wall cost? Four. For, so, we can make a few of those. Or the, just the wood wall is what? That's made over here. Uh, the wood wall, four for one. Hmm. So we can make a thousand. You know what, let's just do that. Close enough. 816, that should be more than enough to do two rooms. Oh, crap, we're also going to need chairs, aren't we? And doors. So I'm going to have to go get some more wood, I think. We're just going to fill this in. <clears throat> And I'd like to go back to the dungeon, too. I was looking at the map after we died there. And there's a lot of things we could do there. Uh, specifically, <clears throat> we were looking for a chest when we died. And there's maybe three or four chests just right around the area there. And we have a bunch of keys that we can go use. So maybe that's something we should do. Uh, I'm just going to finish in these walls, and we'll put some furniture in here, and hopefully the other NPCs will show up. Okay, the walls are done. We can put these things in here. I made some doors, some chairs, and some tables. So, we need table, chair, door. That door is a little off, but that's fine. Uh, oh, not there. I didn't notice that side hadn't been done yet. I thought it had, for whatever reason. It didn't even occur to me to look. So we'll put a door there. We'll put a chair, or a table. Boom. And a chair. And same over on that side. Door. Table. Chair. Okay. Let's move... Where is he? There we go. We'll move the Goblin Tinker there. Get him out of our room. So he should be up there now. Um, and probably not until the next day will the other two arrive. But let's take a look at the map here. So as I was saying, if we go over here... No, oh, that's not even close. There we go. Uh, we died somewhere around here. And if you look at the map, there's pots, uh, there's a tombstone. Oh, there's where we died, so there's the tombstone. Uh, where is it? There's a chest right there, up here. So if we come... If we come into the dungeon and follow the path we took around this way, eventually we'll get back to that. Oh, Edgar the Clothier has arrived. We'll take a look at him in a sec. Um... Hopefully in his room and not down where he's going to fall into the lava. Edgar, there he is. What's up, buddy? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, what did you say? Thought he said thanks for something. Alright. I keep having vague memories of tying up a woman and throwing her in the dungeon. Okay, we did find her and then she died. Hopefully... Hopefully she's going to be alright. Okay, black thread, we can buy pink thread. Summer hat. Familiar shirt, familiar pants, familiar wig. I thought he sold more than this, but maybe it's only on specific times. Like during the blood moon and things like that. We'll have to keep him in mind. Nothing there I really want right now. Uh, anyway, so as we were looking at over here, the dungeon. So, we came in... Obviously, that way. Um, and I think... 
I think we can... Oh, that's caves there. Well, that's a possibility. I mean, we could just come down through caves. And then kind of breach the dungeon now from that side. Since we have a pick that can go through the dungeon brick. Uh, but there's a chest there. There's, I think, another one up here. Possibly. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Uh, there was another one here, though. There's one right below where we died. So that's something. I think there was another one over here. Pots. Chest. So there's another chest right there. So there's three chests, and I think this one was a shadow chest, so it should have something good. Uh, so I think maybe I'm going to head over there and kind of work my way over to these chests, and then when I get to them... Uh, we'll continue the episode and we'll do something over there with that. So I'll be right back. Oh, we also have the meteor to look for too, so that's another thing we can do. Anyway, right back. Okay, we're over near the dungeon. I've kind of drilled... Okay, we're over near the dungeon. I've kind of drilled down. Uh, there's a couple chests over here. I've checked them out already. There's nothing in them that's of real interest. Um, but we're almost drilling down into this hole here, and we're going to come out on top of a spike, unfortunately. So, if we can break the spikes, that would be ideal here. There we go. That's working out. Looks like there's a... Crap. There we go. Okay. Ah, there's more spikes. Oh, there's a whole room of spikes. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and a chest. Right here. Nice. What do we got? Another key. Harpoon! Okay, there we go. Got rid of these guys. This harpoon is a lifesaver. Was that all that was in here that was of interest to us? Yeah. Okay, we got the key. There's another chest down there, so let's just get rid of this skull dude. There we go. That guy. Put down a torch. Get rid of this guy. And see what's in the key chest. It is a slow aqua scepter. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, and a wizard dude. I uh, just want to get the chest, basically. If we can get out of here with the chest, I'll be very happy. Light that up. <clears throat> Man. Why am I not shooting? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think that's what the ch those skulls do when they hit you. They make it so you can't use your weapon or something. Oh, that's so many of them. Okay, there we go. Let's go out over here. Oh. Trap. Okay, that guy hit me. Can't use our weapons. There we go. The main one I want to get to is down here. <clears throat> I want to get down to that uh, special chest. I think it's a shadow chest. Come on, there we go. There we go. Okay, quickly now. Oh, that requires a different key. It requires like an ice key or something. Crap. Oh, well, I think there's another one over here, I think there was. Yeah, oh, that's another one of those special ones. Where do we get the key for that? Well, let's go over here. May as well keep moving <clears throat> into new areas, since we're here. Oh. Now, it looks like there's spikes down there. There is. There we go. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, we got him. And him. <clears throat> oh, no, another one. Come on. And 
the skull guy coming in. Okay, let's just keep moving. Guy trying to get through the door. Blow our way past him. Turn around and get the skull dude. What is that? Oh, is that another one of those candles? I think so. I'm less interested in the candles than I am in chests. That's another one that requires a special key, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up where we get all these keys. Because there's a bunch here that are... No, we just got a golden key there. Um, There's like two different keys that we found so far that don't really... Don't really make sense with anything that we've seen. There are two chests that we found that don't have keys that we've seen. There we go. Uh, wow, this goes on for a long way. Oh, that turns out that light. Uh, keep going here, I guess. Hopefully we'll find another chest. Maybe there aren't any shadow key chests in here. Maybe there's just shadow keys. Because I know they are down in hell. But I don't really want to go down there until we've looted more of this place. Come here. There we go. There we go, got him. Crap. Crap. Not good. <clears throat> there we go. Man, I love this harpoon. I'm so glad we got that from the goblins. Anything else? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Spike trap, or, uh, arrow trap. That's just bully crude down there. Come here, come at me, skull. There we go. Surprisingly few chests that we can do anything with. Hmm. Oh no, not these fire things now. What am I on, Spike? There we go. We're using um, some kind of special chest now, or special key, uh, torches now. There we go. <clears throat> um, I don't think that spinny thing can get through the door here. Uh, I'm going to pause for one second, check out those keys. So I'll be right back. Uh, okay, so... I did a little bit of uh, looking up on the wiki. And I guess all the other keys are kind of hard mode things. Uh, we can't get them yet. We have to defeat the Wall of Flesh first, and... I'm not entirely sure this series is going to go past the Wall of Flesh. So maybe we'll... Ooh, but we can open these. What do we got in here? Cobalt shield. And a large Mazamuna. I will take both of those. And then get over this. I think we're using ice torches. I think that's what they are. And there's another chest over here. So let's... Ooh, a handgun. I will take that, and I will get rid of these arrows. Come down over here. Um, <clears throat> I think maybe we'll head back to the base here. And so, oh, another chest. And now we're getting all the chests. As soon as I decide, hey, maybe it's time to leave. Uh, another cobalt shield. Take that, and I guess we'll do just a quick little bit more looking around. 
I'll ignore that guy for now. Oh, fell a little too far there. Oh, are we out of torches? Okay, let's quickly make some. I think those were ice torches that we were using. And we're just... Oh, we've been here before. Okay, we've gone full circle there. Uh, yeah, I think maybe it's time to head back to base. So I think I'm just gonna... Log out and back in. At this point. Unless we can get back up here and see if this goes anywhere. I guess it might. Get rid of that guy. Um, where are we? We're there. Okay, let's go this way. Jump over that trap again. And let's just make our way... ...up here. And see if there's anything of interest real quick. Maybe up here. There's some stuff up there, but it doesn't look like there's any chests. Oh. Kill that guy. Come on. There we go. Got him. Go ah. Yeah. Stupid fire orb. Okay. Okay, we'll just take a bunch of damage here. Fine. <clears throat> but we'll come over through here. Where's that guy going? That way. We'll come up here then. Up over this, then down over here. And get rid of him. So yeah, we're out of luck as far as... Ah, come on. Open the door. Ah. And this just kind of ends. Okay. Yeah, we're done in here. I'm gonna head back to base. Okay, we're back at base. Uh, we got a few interesting items. We got the Cobalt Shield. Grants immunity to knockback. I thought that used to prevent fire, but we also got this handgun, which is... Uh, actually a little bit better than the gun we have. Oh, that's a great fiery speed. We could have used that. Uh, so that's nice. We got a better gun. We also got this large Mazamune. Which is alright. I don't really use the other one that we had. Uh, the shadow key opens shadow chests, which apparently are all down here. Uh, we still have four golden keys. In theory, I guess we could go looking for something up in the sky. Because I think golden locked chests are up there. Also the, uh, where is she here? Sheena! Sheena, the mechanic has arrived. Selling wrenches. Wire cutter. Levers. Switches. And actuators. Enable solid blocks to be toggled on and off. Cool. So we have her now. Um, I think next episode we might go play around in the jungle. I don't know. I would kind of like to get some stuff out of there. And with the Mazamune and I think a couple other swords. Let's go up to the... Uh, where's the adventurer dude? The, um... You, Brad. Oh, uh, crafting. Let's give him the Mazmune. And so for the, with that, we can craft the nice edge, which we need that, the, oh, the Muramasa. Where do we get that? The blade of grass, which we get from the jungle, and the fiery greatsword, which we get out of hell. And the blood butcher. Okay, we have that. Oh, I've been saying Mazamune. It's the Muramasa. I think the Mazamune is a different one. So we still need the Blade of Grass and we need the Fiery Greatsword. And then we can get the Knight's Edge, which is a good sword. Uh, anyway. 
I'm gonna take. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. We got um, we got some dungeon stuff done. We got uh, the houses for the NPCs we can get now, and that is that. We also have to go get that meteorite, which I might do off camera. It wasn't between here and the dungeon, so I'm guessing it's over on this side again. Probably. Uh, anyway, okay, so I'm gonna end it here. Once again, I'm Nightcat. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.